What's the significance of winning one like tonight? Uh, very big, uh, very, very big. Um, you said it, I think it was 81-62. There's was about five and a half to go there uh, in that third quarter. Um, and, and a couple of different groups, you know, really turned it on there. You know, everybody that was on the floor contributed. Um, you know, it's very big. There, there's no quit in this team. I've been saying it all year. Uh, and I know things weren't going so well there for a little bit, but uh, it's a good one tonight to get the W on and, and uh, just continue to move forward. Christos. Hello, coach. Congratulations on the win. How proud do you feel about uh, the resiliency and the, and the effort in the fourth quarter tonight? And how inspirational for the rest of the team was TJ's performance tonight? Yeah, very impressive by TJ. You know, the triple-double, and I think he was a steal off the NBA record. I think the NBA record for steals is 11, you know, and he had 10 of them, nine of them in the first half. You know, and he did a great job, you know, denying Sexton the ball uh, and just his overall hustle that you saw. He started it there in the, you know, right when he checked in, he had two or three steals right away like he normally does, you know, all the way down at the other end. Um, so, so it, 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 you know, him playing that great game and the guys in the, in the locker room, you know, dumping water on his head after that triple-double and that performance that he had, and, and uh, he deserved it. He plays very, very hard. Daryl Wells. Hey, what's going on, Coach? Um, this question is basically for you. First year as a head coach in the NBA, I'm sure you have some notions, some things you thought may happen or the way you thought things may go. Heading into All-Star break, has this season been what you expected or totally different? Yeah, you know, we got one more game. Uh, we play tomorrow, you know, mm -hmm. against Denver. So uh, uh, we want to really focus there before we, you know, start talking about the the all-star break, but but it's a good question. You know, things, uh, the, the schedule's really moving. You know, uh, you know, you gotta be very efficient with your practice time, very efficient with any team meeting that you have, travel time, everything has to be, you know, as, as efficient as you can make it. Um, your communication with your players, with the coaches, with, you know, with the team in general has to be constant, has to be very sharp. So there's a, there's a lot of things, you know, uh, you know, being a head coach and, and working with the assistants and the players and our assistants are doing a hell of a job. Uh, they really are. They're really working and really trying and, and preparing and, and same with the players. They're, they're really out there fighting. Pat Boylan. Nate, I know you have to keep things from a one game at a time perspective and not get prisoner of the moment. But can a win in the way that this one happened tonight, does it have the potential um, to boost you from a momentum perspective forward, um, not just the next game, but into the second half of the year? For sure. For sure. Anytime, you, you know, you get a win like that, you know, being down as much as we were and, and fighting back, um, you know, that's what you want to think. You take advantage of that and for that to propel you into tomorrow's game, you know, be some good energy, you know, good energy now in the locker room. And, and like I said, they know they got one more to play um, and they're going to be focused. Uh, they'll, get, they'll take the plane ride back to Indianapolis, get our rest and be focused and, and ready to go tomorrow against Denver.